Big news is afoot in Swift's 2018 mid-market motorhome offering. Yes, Bolero has been given the Spanish Archer to be replaced by Bessicar, a range popular with traditionalists that has now been given a hefty shove up market. Last season's 400 series has made way for the 500 series, returning after hiatus when it was last seen in 2014. Ten floor plans are available, including four new models, among which you'll find the 599, an island bed four berth based on the Fiat Ducato. Changes for 2018 see the arrival of black edition cabs, 16-inch alloy wheels, a new sidewall decor scheme, including extruded gold lettering for Bessicar, and that's in addition to a twin lens reversing camera on the back panel. But that's enough on the outside. Let's see what they've done on the inside for the new Bessicar range. Now, the Bessicar 599 is a borrow from Swift's Toscana 794QB, which it makes for export only. As standard, the configuration features an L-shaped dinette up here. The soft furnishings are Silverado. If you would like a parallel seating option, no problem at all. Then you can have the 599 lounge. Now, new for 2018 is ambient lighting under the lockers, as well as ambient lighting over the lockers. And that's in addition to natural light flooding in from two side windows and from a roof flight up above. Now the lounge is on a split level, which is nice. However, I have discovered a little drawback. If you're a six footer like me, things are going to get a little cozy. Now the 599's kitchen is quite small, but it does have some standout features. Dual fuel cooker with a separate oven and grill. And these Fenix worktops have thermal healing properties. Sounds amazing. There's a little shelf there under two plug sockets, thoughtfully mounted around 90 degrees. Down here we have some storage. Part of the units made by Italian design gods Technoform. So you know the quality is absolutely top draw. Also a microwave oven, overhead lockers that are both soft closing. And on the near side of the van, we have the on-trend skinny fridge. Now this particular layout has the washroom arranged across the width of the van. You can create your own private dressing area by opening the door and latching it shut like that. Inside this space you have a swivel loo, a corner vanity unit, a half-length mirror, a cupboard and an Audi wet central heating radiator instead of a towel radiator so it's always going to be warm and toasty in there. On the other side of the van we have a semi-circular shower unit with an Eco Camel shower head for maximum water efficiency. Now some exhibitionists may be a little bit disappointed by the fact it's a frosted shower door but we think it's probably for the best. Now, this is a proper island bed, none of that retractable business, so it's always ready for action. The ambience in here is spot on, over locker lighting, plenty of soft furnishings and soft textures. Probably not quite as opulent as one of Donald Trump's bedrooms, but perhaps not far off. Now there's a dedicated TV station at the foot of the bed on the near side, while on the off side a handy mirror and a plug socket makes it a great place for doing your hair and makeup. Storage wise you're well catered for here. There's also a handy shelf on each side of the bed for your specs, glasses or drinks. And probably what's best of all about that is there's a little hatch underneath so you can access the rear storage area from both sides of the bed. The Bessicar 599 is based on the Fiat Ducato with a 3850 kilogram chassis, so you have to have C1 driving license entitlement to drive it. Now the 599 is the only island bed floor plan in the range, and notice that I said range. Yes, for 2018 Swift has had a bit of a reorganisation. Bessicar is now a range rather than a sub-brand. Swift has done this because it believes there is a lot of equity in the Swift brand. There's also plenty of equity in the Bessicar brand. And on the evidence of what we've seen today in this refreshed lineup, I can't think of any reason why the 2018 version would be any less successful than last year's.